This is most of the tools and products we're gonna use in today's video. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna retrofit the Sab93 with the factory tire pressure monitoring system or TPMS for short. This is part of the factory wiring harness on the rear which we're gonna use to do this mod. On the rear lift side we will have to do some mods to the wiring harness as well. I will remove some of the liners to make my life easy. It may not be the case for you. This is the rear fuse box or REC in SAP terms and I already marked the wires that I need to modify rather than taking you in a boring trip of wiring diagrams. To remove any of these connectors, just pull the tab down and pull back on the connector. I will start with the blue connector. I will remove the zip tie and then release the two tabs for the white sub connector. You will have to slide the red lock to allow the pin removal. All we have to do now is move the red wire and its pin from cavity number 9 in the connector to cavity number 8, which will send power to the other end of the harness from fuse number 23, which is the factory fuse for the tire pressure monitoring module. To pull the pin, I used two sewing needles, one at each side to release the tabs, and then pulled back on the wire. And now just relocate it to the next cavity. Let's put back the zip tie and this connector will look like factory. By this, we provided power to the other side of the harness from the correct power supply location. And since we already have ground at the other end, we only need to plug into the information network of the car or the iBus. To do so, we will have to tap into the green wire at the brown connector. The solid green wire is used for the iBus throughout the car.
And now we will have to locate the third wire going to the extra connector on the rear right side of the car. It's a yellow wire with a blue trace. By the way, the extra connector is for an optional alarm siren. If you don't have that connector, or if the siren is actually installed in your car, you might have to add your own wires, which is no big deal. I already located the wire, and I will just test for continuity with the other end, just to make sure I'm using the correct wire. The following is not for faint-hearted. Now all we have to do is join the rear part of this wire to both ends of the green wire. I'm using heat shrink splice connectors for all the wires on this project. Just pull at both ends of the wire to make sure it's snug. Now let's come back to that extra connector and let's chop it off. As you can see, it has three wires, black for ground, red with yellow trace which is fed by Fuse 23 right now, and yellow with the blue trace that connects to the iBus. I cut the three wires at different lengths, so the splice connectors are not at the same location, which will make the harness thick and could short things out in case of multiple splice failure. The module I bought to install came out from the junkyard. It only cost me 15 bucks and came with a connector and the attachment point. I already had the splice connectors tapped into the wiring harness of the module. Now I have to connect them here. Black goes with black, red with red, and green with yellow.
After I get them tight, all I have to do is heat them up to get them waterproof. If you are OCD like me, you're probably wondering what happened to the other end of that yellow wire. I had it taped, sealed and secured. Let's seal the wiring harness at both ends now. I'm just routing the wiring harness to my convenience. Moment of truth, let's install the module. With the factory bracket, the module just clips in. By the way, you will need four sensors installed in your wheels. I got mine OE sensors, the exact sensors that came on the car from factory from Rock Auto for less than 100 bucks, a fraction of the dealer price. I will try to include the link for those in the video description. Wow, look at that, it looks like factory. And the truth is, it is mostly factory. All I want to do now is just turn the ignition on to make sure I didn't short anything out, which will generate some messages or prevent the dash from turning on. Now, since I already had the sensors installed by a tire shop, let's make things official by adding the module to the car using the TIC 2. 
and perform sensors teach-in. Since this module is not a security sensitive module, no security access will be required. So no laptop or any other software is needed. All you have to do is select your car and from the all sub menu select add remove control module select TPMM and proceed. You will have to choose some of the configuration options that you will have to know. This screen tells you to teach in the sensors in case the module was replaced. Which in this case, yes, it is a new module to the car. However, the car must sit for no less than 20 minutes before that. After this process is performed, go to the chassis submenu, select tire pressure monitoring, select adjustment, and run. Then you will have to drive the car faster than 20 km an hour or 15 miles an hour for some time until the sensors are registered. This is how my dash looked like before performing the drive. When the drive is successful, the scan tool screen will change to programming completed and all the warning lights and messages will disappear unless you actually have a low pressure in one of the tires. Thank you boys and girls for watching and remember if you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Bye bye.